a program for the real men We make it fun for all to see Cause we've been doing it before they came And we know we can do it better We are men in the kitchen Yes, we know the taste And now we create the same taste We are men in the kitchen We are doing it the African way Now we are back in the kitchen They touch your class and tools and fun Whatever good they do, you right there Of course they learnt it from the real men We are men in the kitchen Yes, we know the taste And now we create the same taste We are men in the kitchen You know real men are not in the parlor watching TV anymore Men in the kitchen Yes, we know the taste And now we create the same taste We are men You know real men are not in the parlor watching TV anymore men Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. Right, my name is Raf Mwafo, and I have um. I'm Chef Basi. I'm Chef Anetia. I'm Chef Ifyok. And we are all men in the kitchen. Right, this is welcoming you to the very wonderful edition of uh, Men in the Kitchen. And um, you know, today we are going to treat something special. That's why you have. Four of us in the kitchen anyway, but very soon I will leave the kitchen while the driver Chelbasi will take on. We'll be looking at a very delicious soup from Kogi State. If you've been to Lokoja recently, if you're an Ibira man, you've been to uh, Kaba. This soup I want to mention now, you will be very, very interested in it. It is called um, Igogo Soup. Igogo Soup. That Igogo Soup is actually a product of Benny seed you see very seeds they are very tiny tiny seeds if you've seen the uh, um guinea uh corn, 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 guinea corn, corn yeah. very tiny this soup is actually very very rich in protein and of course it comes with a lot of ingredients which chebasi will take you step by step on how to prepare so make sure you have your pen and pencil. Remember in this program we try to look at those old soup that our forefathers enjoy, they, they consume it, that has actually made them to live longer than uh, we are living today. The kind of soup that you don't need artificial uh, seasoning to prepare. That's what we do in many in the kitchen and of course we say as we welcome you just don't touch that time while I hand over to Jeff Bassi. Jeff Bassi? Sir? Over to you now. I still remain Ralph Mafo. I'll be right back. I want to welcome you to Men in the Kitchen. For you to enjoy this, there are lots of We are doing it the African way. A lot of discussions going on with the crowd. The real men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. Men in the kitchen. Wednesdays, 8 30 p.m. Repeat broadcast Friday, 10 30 a.m. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to make you Igogo soup. And this is the ingredient of Igogo soup. The first ingredient is palm oil. That's too much. And the next one here is onions. This one is stock fish. I take the assorted meat. Turn it to the mix. Okay, okay. I have to put some little water to mix it together. And I still call it to mix it. Okay. 
the next one here is my Luca Spice. I'm not going to put on the depending quantity I make. Don't focus on the local food. And we are using local spices. Iru, that's the local beans. Igo, Igo go soup. I have to make sure I put on because it's not too much. So he gave me the test I learned in Igo go soup. Thank you, my chef. And don't forget to put your pepper. I'm not going to put all. The two spoon is enough for this soup. And chill my chair. So I allow it to steam for some minutes before I come back for the next ingredient. We need before the game. And we know we can do it better. mix calling we mix it together and the next one will be my fish and I have to make sure I wash it with salt we need before the game and we know we can do it better Next one is my fish. I have to also turn it and mix it together. The soup we make, we have to put salt for test. And don't put too much because it's just for test. And also, <coughs> this is my pay. I don't have to put too much. And the next one is the blending of gogo soup. It's local, that's why I'm using my finger so that it will come up nice. You want to make sure that you mold it like this before you come up and give you what you want. and cover it for another five minutes to mix up together. Wednesdays 8.30 p.m. Repeat broadcast Friday 10.30 a.m. The last ingredient is Asusa leaf. And I have to turn it and mix together. I will not allow it to be too done. As the way the soup looks like. It's very rich, very good. We need before the game, and we know we can do it better. Man in the kitchen. Right, you had it all from our chef Basi. It's been quite a systematic arrangement 
to prepare your igogo uh, soup. That is your belly seed soup. Um, there's one significant thing I want you to know here. The last leaf that was added to making your sunshine food is Oziza. If you know Oziza, some part of this country they pronounce it the way they want, but it's this spicy uh, leaf that gives the body to the soup. Well, this is men in the kitchen, and uh, we are still talking good living and good health. Just to let you know that. Men in the Kitchen is for everybody. We want to welcome your contribution to this program. It goes a long way in helping us to get to you. Of course, we still welcome partnership. This program is open for sponsorship. You can call us anytime. The numbers are rolling right now on your screen. And of course, our websites are there for further information. At Men in the Kitchen, we can supply you with good cook. That could take care of your executive packaging, especially when you are in love with African dishes. Of course, if you are organizing any event, is it wedding, is it functions, um, annual get together, your anniversaries, you may have your continental dishes. But when it comes to the local aspect of it, the local content, contact Men in the Kitchen Limited. We will be able to come to you, package it well, and of course, serve. To taste, I just want to say until we get to a dining table where our guests will be having a taste of this sumptuous soup with the right swallow, of course. <laughs> I'm sure your appetite is wetting already. I'll just say, Don't touch that dime. I still remember Ralph Marfo. See you at the dining table. We need before the game, and we know we can do it better. Welcome you to Men in the Kitchen. Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. For you to enjoy this, there are lots of We are doing it the African way. A lot of discussions going on with the crowd. The real men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. Wednesdays 8.30 p.m. Repeat broadcast Friday 10.30 a.m. We need before the game and we know we can do it better. Well, thank you, Chef, for this wonderful way of serving this. Well, like I told you, we can also serve at your beautiful locations, your anniversary. We'll be right there to serve you well packaged. We can also cook the type of meal that you would love to take. For this Igogo food soup today, uh, we have my friend here. So can we meet you? What's the name? Nuruddin. Nuruddin is... Haruna. Pardon? I'm Nuruddin Haruna. Nuruddin Haruna. And my friend here? Musa Abdul Hamid. Musa Abdul Hamid. And our friend here? Champion Mike. Wow, Champion Mike, Nuruddin, Musa, we are all here to... We are Africans, Nigerians doing African food. I would like to leave these guys to do justice to this meal. Why I have taken time out? I'll be right back. We need before the game, and we know we can do it better. We are men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. We are doing it the African way. Now we are back in the kitchen, a touch of class and tools and fun. Whatever good they do, he right there. Of course, they win it before the game. And we know we can do it better. We are men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. We are doing it the African way. Now we are back in the kitchen, a touch of class and tools and fun. Whatever good they do, he right there. Of course, they learnt it from the real man. We are men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. You know, real men are not in the parlor watching TV anymore. We're we are not in, in the kitchen because that is where we started from. You can ask. Welcome you 
to men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the test, and now we play the same test. We are men in the kitchen. For you to enjoy this, there are lots of We are doing it the African way. A lot of discussions going on with the crowd. The real men in the kitchen. Yes, we know the test, and now we play the same test. Men in the kitchen. Wednesdays 8.30 p.m. Repeat broadcast Friday 10.30 a.m. Right, you welcome back to this segment. It's segment I call the very last segment of the program. I guess you enjoyed yourself so much with us. You must have eaten with us this um, a special diet from Kogi State today. I call it special diet. Remember, we were actually talking about the soup here. The swallow could have been any other thing. We use wheat today. That's our Igogo soup. Um, three of us have eaten the food this hour, but I guess we have so much to have given out. You, your neighbor, your friends, the other guy, and so on. You all ate well, so thank you very much. We'll be talking with our friends here to know exactly how they felt while they were eating this food. Uh, my friend here, I would like you to tell our viewers who you are, the state you come from, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, my name is Abdul Hamid Musa. I'm from Kogi State. And this moment here uh, is one that will last in my memory for a very long time. What got me amazed about this meal was the fact that there is no artificial ingredient in it. It was made by men. And there's a popular saying that says, what a man can do, the woman can do better. But in this case, the reverse it is. What women can do, men can actually do better. Men can actually do better. You are from Kogi State. Yes. That's interesting. This meal is from Kogi State. Now give us a verdict. Did we get right? It was absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. On a scale of 10, how would you score today? Definitely have nine. <laughs> Nine over ten. That's a in, in the academic exercise. A right. We have another brother there that is seated comfortably. He's our chairman for today. You can see his. <laughs> I don't know how to take it. In our tradition, we want to meet you. Let our uh, viewers know who you are. Can we meet you? My name is Engineer Nuruddin Haruna. I'm from Kogi State, and Igala. To be precise, you gotta be precise. Um, this moment, right, actually, right here is priceless. Not because the food is delicious, because the soup actually have a, have a lasting memory of this soup. You know, dated back from when I was in secondary school. My grandma used to prepare it for us back in the days, and you know, all I've, all I have about this soup is just memory. But you know, having to taste it today, you know, brought so many memory box like some ten years old memory and I'm quite excited and you know you know when I heard you were gonna prepare the benefit soup I wasn't quite sure what, what I was going to expect, you know. But sitting here and getting to eat it, I must tell you I'm blown away. You know and the amazing thing is this meal was put together by some group of men and I'm still amazed. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm even here to you know, believe that fact until I start seeing them coming out of the kitchen and you know, it feels really, really, you know, it's encouraging and you know, it goes a long way to show how men you know, are improving from this part of the world and, and kudos to them actually. Now, kudos to men, and this is men in the kitchen. We are still here, engineer has just told us how amazing he is. He, 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 he got to when he tasted our food. You see, what's striking to me here is that these are the food that our grandfathers eat. He tasted it last 10 years ago. Then he had to remember that his grandmother used to prepare it too. That's what we're talking about. So if you have not tasted Benny say a gogo soup, just make sure you rehearse your recipe as uh, Chef Basi has given to you. Our uh, engineer. Yes, this is not engineering, this is cooking right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a scale of 10, how would you score us? Is it possible to rate you guys 11 over 10? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feel. Because, like, I would, 10 over 10 wouldn't be that, it, it wouldn't be fair on them, you know. 
I like. I'm. I'm more than impressed. Thank you very much. Today, program we are getting 11 over 10. That's an extra. You still do with it A's. Whoever scored 11, 9, you are making first class. Thank you very much, engineer. We will still be right back when we're going to talk to our last guest on this program. But just for then, I want to tell you that this program is open for sponsorship. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. It takes a lot to put this program on air. I just want you to get involved. As of numbers are scrolling right now, you can call any one of them. We will be right there to meet up with you. You can sponsor us by giving us the special swallow to go with this. I know quite a number of people produce these uh, swallows that can be used for African soup. We will be there to partner with you. Not to talk of those that produce water, we can also partner with you. We'll still be waiting for you. Don't touch that dial because men the kitchen is still on. We need before the game, and we know we can do it better. Men in the kitchen. Welcome back. Um, the last and not the least guest on this program is a young man who has also tasted this food. I just want to know if he has ever, ever tasted a Congo food before. That's this special sesame seed proteinous diet. My brother, I want to ask, how do you feel being on this program for today to start with? Tell us who you are and let's hear your view. Thank you very much. Well, I will say I'm very much excited. I'm known as Mr. Champion from other states, but right now I feel I'm from Kobe State. <laughs> um, I've never tested this meal before, to be honest, and I must say that I'm thrilled by what I've seen today, what I've eaten. I'm very much excited. More so that um, men prepare this meal. Secondly, let's look at the fact that people that are not from Kobe State who put this together. That shows the creativity in the black man. Mm. Now, I'm one of those over the years that are promoting the African culture. And saying this today is a plus that the black man can compete anywhere, anytime. I want to encourage those watching this program, like he said, to be involved. We need sponsors, we need people that can push this to the global level. So I'm too sure that anywhere this recipe gets to, they can always stand the best of time. Standing the best yes. of time, that's the word I love to hear, standing the best of time. Yes. Your name is very unique, champion. Yes. Wow. Ah, uh, Chef Vasi, yeah. Chef Kofiok, oh. and my big brother here, we are still giving them men in the kitchen. Thank you very much. So, as we round off, the champion has just told us so much. He enjoyed this meal. He's not from Kogi State, and it's a classic meal to him. Mr. Champion, Sir. finally, on a scale of 10, how do you score us? To me, it's 10 over 10. 10 <laughs> over 10. We've got, we've got 9 over 10, 10 over 10, and uh, 11 over 10. Yeah. Um, I just want to thank you guys out there for being patiently watching us and getting entertained with food. It's been a great addition for today. Our numbers are scrolling there would like you to call on us for every form of partnership we will get there. Remember that Men in the Kitchen is a program for the men, for the women, and for the family. We are ready to serve you at your special occasions. If you need African touch, our guys will be there to do it right. And of course, if we just need to serve your people, we'll have the team that will do that. We also run a training school where we train the cook, chef. There are some organizations that will want special chefs to give them good meal. Some housewives are also coming in for training. So just get to us. We'll personalize it in our office. We can also come to your home to take care of that. Finally, I would like to invite you to be our guest on DSTV, Go TV, Star Times, and of course, NTA2. On the same time next week, I want to say, Jeff Bassi, Jeff Ifyok, and others, can you just tell our viewers to keep watching Men in the Kitchen? Say it again. Men in the Kitchen. That's it. I'm Rebecca Rafma for saying bye-bye.
Yes, we know the taste, and now we create the same taste. We are men in the kitchen. The program for the real men. We make it fun for all to see.